Today we're learning to sketch straight lines from equations and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over three separate methods with you just to show you how we can go about uh, sketching a straight line uh, once we've give, been given the equation of the line. Now this is a follow-on video from the first one that I did which was uh, based on the gradient and understanding gradient really well. The second one was around working out the C value or the uh, the y-intercept where the, um, the the line will cut through the y-axis. So for today I'm going to go through these methods. Some of the work I'll be doing is uh, reasonably quick. So what you can do is you can freeze the video, look at what I've done and check it out as we go through the uh, video. Okay, so I've got five lines that I'm going to draw, so I'm going to just try and do them reasonably quickly here. Okay, so the first line that we're going to work on is going to be an equation, which is y. So the first one is y equals, we'll go for 2x, take away 4, or y equals 2x minus 4. Okay, so that's an equation of a line. So if you remember the last couple of videos for this method here, what we can do is we can find the c value. So I know that c is equal to minus 4 from this equation here. And what C is, is where the line is going to cut through the y-axis. And that's going to be my starting point. Okay. So once I've got the C value, I'll then go and find my gradient. So the number that's sitting in front of X, as long as I've started off with Y equals, is going to be my gradient. So that's my gradient. So my M value is 2. So remember what that means is that every time I go along 1, so if I write it as a fraction, Every time I go along one, I go up two places. So that's what that's going to mean to me when I draw this uh, this uh, line down. Right, so this method here involves us making sure that the, the equation starts with y and then it equals the gradient plus c, gradient times x plus c. We're then going to start with the c value, so I've already got that. Make a dots according to M, so we'll be plotting some dots according to the movement of the gradient, and then we'll draw the line through the dots. So what we'll do is we'll go down to a grid just now, and we'll draw that uh, straight line, okay? So C value of minus 4, gradient of 2. Right then, so C value, so my C value is minus 4. So here's my first point here, down at 0, minus 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the knowledge of gradient, and I'm going to go along one and up two. So there's a point. Along one and up two. There's a point. Along one and up two. So I've got a number of lines there, uh, dots there, and all I'll do is I'll just draw my uh, straight line through these dots. And that should give me... There we go. There's the first line. So that equation of that line is y is equal to 2x minus 4. Okay, so, so it's as simple as that to be able to draw the line using method number one. Right, let's go down and look at method number two, okay? So for method number two, what we have here is we have, uh, we're going to make sure that the equation says y equals mx plus c. So remember it's y is equal to 2x minus 4, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pick three values, three x values, and we'll substitute the values into where x is there, and we'll work out what y equals when we do that. So I'll do the working for these ones here, and normally we might even write that down as a wee table that makes it a lot easier to, to understand. So I'm going to substitute the values in where x is, plot the points, and then we'll draw the line. Okay? Right, here we go then. So what we'll do is we're going to use x equals 0. So when x equals 0, okay, that's the first thing I'm going to go for. I'm going to substitute a 0 in where x is. I'm just putting it in a bracket, so that's 2 times 0, minus 4. So that gives me a value of, because that's 0, take away 4, that's minus 4. So that gives me one plot to point, uh, point to plot, which is 0 for x that we said. So I'm starting with 0 for x, and minus 4 for y. So that would give me one point to plot. When x is equal to 1. So that was another point I chose. And remember, some pupils get hung up on... Where do you get 0 from? Where do you get 1 from? Um, you just need to think about any x-coordinate. If you substitute it into the equation, you find out what the y-coordinate of that point is, and that allows you to plot it. So I'm just going for uh, 0, 1, and 2. So all I'm going to do is substitute a 1 in there. So 2 times 1 is 2. Take away 4. So that's going to give me 
minus 2. So my point I'm going to plot, remember I said x was 1, so that's a 1 there, and it came out as y is minus 2. So there's my coordinates there. The third one I'm going to do is x equals 2. Okay, so starting with uh, the equation, substituting the 2 in where x is, Okay, so all you can see is wherever x is, I'm putting that value of x that I'm making up. And then I'm calculating what the y-coordinate would be if x was equal to 2. So that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4. 4 take away 4 is 0. So that gives me the coordinate of x is 2 and the y-coordinate 0. So what I've got there is I've got three points to plot. So what I'll do is go back to the graph. Okay. And I'll just read out what these uh, points are. So the first point was 0 minus 4. So that's 0 minus 4. So that's this point here. Okay. The next point was 1 minus 2 or 1 negative 2. So 1 along the way, 2 down. That gave me that point that's there. Then what I would have is the final point would be 2, 0. So 2 along and 0 up the way. So that gave me that point there. And all I would need to do, if I didn't have that line in place there, I would just go over it. There we go. And that's that line in there as well. Okay, so I can draw it that way. Third method. Let's do this one. So sometimes this method is uh, quite useful. Um, it's useful sometimes when we're doing some further work, when we're working with curves as well, um, to find out where curves cut the y and the x-axis, because that's really important for us at some time. So let's just show this method here. So the way this method works is I'm going to start with the equation. I'm not needing to really rearrange the equation to say y equals. That is in that form just now, but some of the ones we see later on won't be, and we'll be able to work that one through and see how that goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let x equal 0, and I'll find the y-coordinate. And then what I'll do is I'll let y equal 0, and I'll find that associated x-coordinate. So I've got two points where it cuts through the axes. I'll put the dots down on the, the diagram, and I'll draw a line through the dots. Sometimes this one here is a wee bit awkward. Sometimes the numbers come out as fractions, which can be a wee bit awkward, but we'll get over that as we go forward. Right, so let x, so I'm just going to say let x equal 0. So if I let x equal 0, what I've got is y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 4. So what I get coming out of there, that becomes 0. Take away 4, that's minus 4. So the coordinate I've got there is 0 minus 4, quite similar to what we did in method number 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot that point just down below. So that's 0 minus 4. So I'm just putting a dot around that. So I'm then going to let y equal 0. Okay. So on the left hand side where y is, I'm going to make that equal to 0. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve that equation for x, just like you have done through your equation solving. So I don't want uh, 2x on the right hand side, so I'm going to take 2x away from there. I'll take 2x away from that side. So what it leaves me with is 2x is equal to, these are eliminated, and that leaves me with minus 4 there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide top, uh, the, the left and the right hand side by the minus 2. These will be eliminated. That gives me x is equal to, I've got two negative signs and I'm dividing, so they'll cancel out. 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So that gives me an x coordinate of 2, remember? So the x coordinate's always first, so that's a 2, and I said that y is equal to 0. So that gives me two points. So if I go back to my diagram, and I go and plot them, so there's the first one I plotted. That was 0 minus 4, and the other point was 2, 0, which would be that one there. So I would only have two points to use, and then I would just draw my straight line right through that there. So that's the way we can uh, sketch straight lines from equations. Okay, moving on. We'll go to another question. Okay. So you can freeze the, the video and you can try this one before I do the answer. But remember, I'm just going to go straight and do the answer as we go. So next question we're going for is y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay. Go ahead and sketch and try and pick one of the methods. Find the method that suits you best to use and try that one, okay? I'm going to go ahead now, okay? Right, so I'm going to find the C value. So there's my C value there, C equals 3. I'm going to find my gradient. My gradient equals 2. And remember what that's like is as a fraction, that would be 2 over 1. So I go along 1 and I go up 2 every time. So I'm going to start at C equals 3. 
And remember that point there is going to be zero in the x direction and three up. So I'm going to go for that right now, okay? Here we go. So starting at zero, three, so there's my first point there, zero, three, that one's zero, three. What I'm going to do there is I'm going to go up the way, so one along, two up, okay? It's a positive gradient, one along, two up, one along and two up, okay? And these points here, this one gives me a one, five, so I could write that in. This one here, two, seven, two, seven, and this one here will give me three and nine. Okay, and all I need to do is just draw the equation straight, uh, the, the line straight through that, okay? I could even work back the way if I wanted because I'm going along two, uh, one and up two. I could go along one and down two. That would give me another way of working out another couple of points that would be down further this way here. So if I draw that line through there, there's my equation of the straight line, okay? And that line there was y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do method number two. I'm going to just use a wee table for it. Okay, you can check back and see how I'm working this table out. So what I'm going to go for is I'm going to pick an x coordinate. So let's go for zero, one, and two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the equation in here to work out my associated y value. So if I know what x is, I can find out what y is and I can plot that wee point or a dot on the chart. So if I've got zero and I substitute zero in there, two times nothing is nothing, plus three gives me a three. So there's a, a coordinate point that I've got, zero for x, three for y. If I substitute a one in there, two times one is two, plus three is five, so that'd be one five. Two substituted in here, so two times two is four, plus three is seven, okay? So that gives me two seven. So this method's quite quick as well. So what I'd then do is I'd just go and I'd, I would plot these points. So that was 0, 3, that one there. I've got 1, 5, that one there. And I've got 2, 7, that one there. And what I would do is I would draw my line through the three points. And that's method number two. Right, so method number three. So remember, it's let x equal 0, let y equal 0. And the equation that we're starting with is this one here. So if I let x equals 0, first of all. So y is going to be equal to 2 times 0 plus 3. So that's going to give me an answer of y equaling 3. So my x coordinate was 0, my y coordinate is 3. That's the first one I'll plot. So I've just gone down and I've plotted that one. So if I let y equal 0, so I've got 0 at this side here, and that equals 2x plus 3. So what I'll then do is I'll uh, get rid of this uh, 2x from that side, okay, by substituting uh, subtracting the, the 2x from each side. So that leaves me with minus 2x, that cancels out, is equal to 3. So x is going to be equal to 3 over minus 2, when, when I substitute that in. So remember what that is, is 3 over 2, or I could write that as a fraction like minus 3 over 2, minus 1 and a half that would be, and that would be my y coordinate, the 0. Right, so let's go and plot that one there. So this is where it becomes just a wee touch awkward on method three. So the other point I'm plotting is, so that's going to be one and a half along the way. So there's one, two, there's one and a half there, zero. Okay, so negative one and a half, one and a half, zero. And I'll just draw my line through these two blue points that I've got there. And there's my line. So that's that one drawn as well. Okay, right, so... Moving on, and again, just freeze the video when you can, and try the question. Right, so next one, what we'll look at is, we'll look at a negative gradient, I'm sure. Right, so the negative gradient we'll go for will be y is equal to, we'll go for negative 3x plus 5. Let's have a look at that one there. Right, remember the way that we would do it for method 1. So we're going to find the c value. So that's the y-intercept, so e c equals 5. So that'd be a 0, 5 point that I'm going to plot. And my gradient is minus 3. So what that'll mean to me is, every time I go along the way by 1, I'm going to go down the way by 3. And I can plot my lines that way there. So let's go and do that on the diagram. Right, so what we said there, c was 0, 5. So 0, 5 is there, is my first plot. 
I've got my gradient, which every time I go along, I'll go down three, so that'll take me to there. Every time I go along one, I go down three. Every time I go along one, I go down three. So there's my, my line to my plots there, just um, through there. And there's my equation of the straight line. Okay, just drawing. So I can write down what the points are. So that point there was 0, 5. This point here is 1, 2. This point here is 2, 1. And I had another one down the bottom, which is 3, and that's negative 4. So that was a negative there as well, remember, sorry. So that's 2, 2 along the way, and 1 down. So there's, there's some of the points that I've just plotted there. Okay, let's look at method 2, and we'll just go through that one again. Remember, all we'll do is we'll make up a table. So the table we'll make up for y is equal to minus 3x plus 5. We'll have a wee table. And what we'll go for is x coordinates. And in here, I'm going to calculate minus 3x, and that's going to be plus 5. I'm going to use the value of 0. So when I sub by 0 into there, minus 3 times 0 gives me 0, plus 5 gives me 5. So my first point is 0, 5. 0 for x, 5 for y. For 1, 1 substituted in there, so minus 3 times 1 is uh, negative 3. Negative 3 plus 5 leaves me with 2, okay? So that's going to be a point of 1, 2. And if I substitute a 2 in, 2 going in there, minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 5 is going to give me negative 1. So that gives me the point 2, negative 1. Back onto the plot again. Go down here. If the, the line wasn't plotted already, I'd be plotting this point. I'd be plotting 1, 2, 1 along 2 up, and 2, negative 1. So I'll plot it there. And all I would do is just join these three points up and just extend the line that bit further. That's along there like that. Method three. Let's go for this one. So method three. So this may become a, a wee bit awkward. So we're working with y is equal to negative three x plus five. And what we're going to do is we're going to let x equal zero. So y is going to be equal to minus three times zero plus five which leaves me with 5. So that one was no hassle at all. 0 for x, we said, remember? 5 we calculated for y, and that's how that works out. So then we're going to let y equal 0. Okay. So on the left-hand side, we've got 0 for y, minus 3x, plus 5. Okay. So what we'll do is I'll add 3x onto both sides. That'll give me 3x is equal to 5, because that gets eliminated there. So x is equal to 5 over 3, okay? So the point that I'm going to plot, that was my x-coordinate I worked out when I said my y-coordinate equals 0. So there we go there. That's what we're going to plot. So 5 thirds. So if I was going to plot that, what I would do is I'd make up a grid that would maybe be based on thirds, and work that one through. And what I'll do is I'll do that for the last question that I do here, and I'll just uh, write that out without having the numbers in the, the grid. So if I looked at plotting these points that would be here, so the first one was 0, 5, so for the third method would be that one. For the, um, for, for the next point, 5 thirds, so it would be 5 thirds would be just less than 2, so it's like 1 and 2 thirds, so there's 1, and a third and two thirds, so that would be a point there that I would be interested in. And that point there would be five thirds, zero. So that is a wee bit awkward. And then all I would draw is uh, through these two points that are there. Okay. Sometimes when we get a straight line, it's not given as nice and neat as we want it. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna change the subject of the formula around a bit to say y is equal to. So the line that we're going to work with here is 2y is equal to 6x and we've got plus 8. Okay? So what I'm needing for this method here, for method number 1, I need to remember that I need y equals mx plus c. So what I'll do is I'll divide both sides by 2. So if I divide everything by 2, what I get is y is equal to 6x plus 8 all over 2, because these 2's are eliminated there. Or 2 divided by 2 is just equal to 1. 
So I've got y equals already there, but that still doesn't help me enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both of these things by the 2 that's on the denominator there. So that will leave me with y is equal to 6x divided by 2 is gives me 3x, and 8 divided by 2 gives me a positive 4, so that's plus 4. Now I've got it in the form that I can use to use method number 1. Okay, so my c value there is 4, so that will give me a 0, 4 coordinate that I can plot. My gradient is equal to 3, and remember what that means is that every time I go along 1, I go up 3 places. Okay, so let's go and plot that. Right, so first thing that we're plotting is the 0, 4. Okay, that's my c value that's there, okay? That was the 0, 4. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the gradient. So we're going to go along 1, and we're going to go up 3. So there we go. Along 1, and we'll go up 3. So we're kind of off the chart a wee bit there. I could then go down the way, because I know it's coming down in that direction. So along 1 and down 3 here, that way. And along 1 and down 3 there. So that just allows me to extend the line a wee bit further down in this direction here. And all I'll do is I'll join up the lines that I've got here. And what that will do is that gives me the equation of my line drawn as a straight line. And so that's my first sketch. So that there would be 2y is equal to 6x plus 8. Okay, an awkward way that we would be given that uh, straight line equation. And we'd need to change it around. Let's look at method number 2. So for method number 2, what we do is if we've got uh, 2y is equal to 6x plus 8, what we need to do again is rearrange it. So remember when we rearranged it, what we got was y is equal to 3x plus 4. Okay? I'm going to create a table. x value is on the top, and what we'll do is I'll go for y value is going to be equal to 3 times whatever I choose at the top, and I'm going to add 4 onto that. So if I choose a 0, 3 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. So there's my first point. My next point I'm going to choose is 1. 1 substituted in here, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So that's going to be 1, 7. And then my value for 2. So 2 going in there gives me 6, plus 4 gives me 10. So that's going to be 2 and 10. And that's the one that I think was just straight off the chart there. Right, so plotting the points. So what we got there was 0, 4, which would be this one here. We've got 1, 7, so 1 and 7, which is here. And the other, the last one was 2 and 10, which came across there. If it goes off the chart, you can choose any other number. You could choose uh, negative numbers as well. The only thing with negative numbers is you've got to be careful of your calculation. So finally, what I'll do is I'll um, draw my line through here. And that's my equation of the line drawn using method 2. Right. Method 3, let's have a look at this one. So with method 3, when it's like this, sometimes this is a benefit using method 3. So what we're using is 2y is equal to 6x plus 8. What I'm going to do is remember I'm letting x equal 0, first of all, to find the y coordinate. So what I've got is 2y is equal to 6 times 0 plus 8. So that tells me that 2y is equal to 8, because 6 times 0 is 0. And then I'll divide both sides by 2. And these get eliminated, leaving me y equals 4. So there's the first point that I'm going to plot, 0 and 4. So I'll just do that down, down in the graph. Okay. What I've then got is I've got uh, letting y equal 0. Okay. And when I let y equal 0, I've got 2 times 0, because I'm substituting a 0 in here. Okay. So that equals 6 times whatever x is going to be plus 8, and I'm going to work out what the x value is going to be. So this is 0 on this side here, okay, so I'll just write that in, and what I'll do is I'll uh, get rid of that uh, 6x there by taking 6x away, I'll take 6x away to the up from the other side as well. These will be eliminated, leaving me with negative uh, 6x is equal to 8, and then all I'll do is I'll divide both sides by negative 6. So these get eliminated, leaving me with 8 all over negative 6. Or, if I simplify them down by dividing top and bottom by 2, I get minus 4 thirds, okay? Or minus 1 and a third, okay? And again, I could, uh, I could draw that grid using thirds if I was going to do it that way. So remember I said that y is equal to 0, and what we've got at the bottom there is we've got minus 4 thirds, okay, as we work through. 
So again, a wee bit more awkward. So that's one and a third. So one along and a third. So that point that's here that we've got is going to be minus or negative four over three, zero. That's that point there. I've got that point there, which was zero four. And all I'll do is draw my line through it. And a good habit to get into would be to label up some of your points as well. So that would be 1, 7. Remember that one there was 2, 10. And I could see other points that I could label up as I go forward to, to do this type of question. Okay, last one. Okay, last question that we're going to do. Right, and we're just going to go just a wee bit further now. And uh, we're going to use method 1 to work out this equation that's here. So we're going to go for 3y minus 2x is equal to five, okay? So another awkward one, it's not written in the y equals mx plus c method. So what we'll do is we'll change that around to y is equal to mx plus c. That'll allow us to get our starting point and going from there. Right, so first thing I want to do is I want to leave y on the left-hand side and I want x's on the right-hand side. So I'll add on two x there, add on two x to that side. So that's three y is equal to these are eliminated here, and I'm going to write the 2x first, because that's the way I want my formula in. I want the x's before what the, 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 um, the c value is going to be. So that's going to be 2x, and that's going to be plus 5. Now, just be really careful. That's not my uh, y-intercept there yet. I need to do some further work, because I've got 3y at the start. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So the 3's get eliminated, leaving me with y is equal to... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this 3 between the two of them. So that's going to be 2 thirds x plus 5 thirds. So that is really quite awkward, isn't it? So that there is going to be my c value. And what that will tell me is I've got 0 and 5 thirds to plot on the graph. My gradient is a fraction. So my gradient of 2 thirds. And that's what that's going to mean to me is that Every time I go along three places, I go up by two. So that's the way I'm going to kind of use this method here. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I've got is I've got five over three is my C value and two thirds is my gradient or two upon three. So if I was going to draw a grid and I'm going to be using thirds, why, why wouldn't I just split it up into three bits for each one? So that would be a third. That would be two thirds. That would be one. That will be uh, moving along. Just moving three along. Okay, I'll go back the way now. So I'm going to move, that's going to be zero right there, zero, zero. That's the origin. One, two, three. So there's a negative one. One, two, three. There's a negative two. One, two, three. There's a negative three. So everything's split up into thirds, which I'm going to use. Uh, up the way, I'm going to do the same. So one, two, three. So that's going to give me my first point. One, two, three, that'll be my second point. One, two, three, that'll be my third. And I'll just go and do another one there. That'll be four up to there. And that's in the Y direction. Okay, so that's uh, these points plotted there. And I'll just go down the way also, okay? So one, two, three, so that's uh, negative one. One, two, three, and that's negative two that's there. Okay, so I've uh, set out my grid the way that I need to do that. So remember what we're saying is that the first point that we're going to be plotting is the 0, 5 over 3. Okay, so 5 thirds. And remember I've split everything up into thirds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That must be 5 thirds that's there. So there's my first point there that I'm going to plot. So that's going to be 0 and 5 up and 3 or 5 thirds that I've just plotted up there. My gradient, remember, is that I'm going to go along 3 and up 2. So that's what a gradient of 2 thirds will mean. Along 3, up 2. Let's go and do that from here. Right, so along 3. So let's go for 1, 2, 3, and up 2, and 2. Okay, along 3, and up 2. Along 3, and up 2. Along 3. And up to, so there we go. There we've got uh, some of our points all the way up there. All I need to do is take that point and maybe my furthest point. And uh, what should happen is all the lines should meet up. All the dots should meet up and I should be able to draw my straight line all the way through there. 
So that line there is quite an awkward one, but that one there was 3y minus 2x equals 5. Okay, some of the points that I've got, so that's going to be 3, okay, this point that's here. I can see, read it off, that's going to be 3, and that's going to be 9 thirds that will be there, is it? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so that's 11 thirds. 3 and 11 thirds. Uh, let's see for 2. So for the point 2, that's going to be the point 2, 3. So that matches up there with um, some whole numbers for us there. And I can plot the point 0, 5 upon 3 there. So this one's quite an awkward one, but hey, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, method 2. Let's go and do this one. So what I need to do is to get the equation, remember, in y equals mx plus c form. So what I've got is y is equal to 2 thirds x plus 5 upon 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write out my calculations. So when x is equal to 0, so for x equals 0, what I've got is y is equal to 2 thirds of 0 plus 5 thirds. So 2 thirds of 0 is 0 plus 5 thirds is just 5 thirds. So what that gives us is that point 0, 5 upon 3. When x is equal to 1, I could do it as a table, but I think it's a wee bit easier for this one here, putting the 1 in there into x to write it out in full. So 2 thirds times 1 gives me 2 thirds. 2 thirds plus 5 thirds gives me 7 thirds. So that'll be 7 upon 3. So this point here is 0 and 7 thirds. And then when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 thirds times 2 plus 5 thirds. And if I've got 2 thirds and I double it, I've got 4 thirds. So 4 thirds plus 5 thirds will give me 9 thirds. And 9 thirds is just 3. So what that will do is it will give me the point 2, 3. And I'll be able to plot these points on the, on the graph. Okay, so first point that we're going to plot was 0 and 5 upon 3. So that will be this one that's right on here. That's our y-intercept. Next one was uh, going to be, whoops, I've made a mistake up at the top there. So that there was, I put a 0 in there, but remember it was x equals 1. So that's a 1, and the y value is 7 upon 3. Okay, so I'll just go and plot that one. So that's going to be a 1, and 7 upon 3, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that would be that point there that I would plot if I didn't have this line in place. And then finally, the point 2, 3. So 2 along and 3 up. Or 2 along and 9 thirds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That point that's there I would be able to do. So this one here was the point 1 and 7 thirds going up that way there. Okay. Again, just draw the line through the dots. And that would be my equation off the line. Right, last one. Last method that we're going to use. Method 3 for this one. I'm going to start off with 3y minus 2x equals 5. So I'm not going to change this to y equals mx plus c for this type of method. And all I'm going to do is just let x equal 0. And hopefully this is an easier way to do this one. So if I let x equal 0, so I've got 3y minus 2 times 0 equals 5. So that becomes 0. So 3y equals 5. So y equals 5 upon 3. So there's the first point that I'm going to plot. And that's 0, because I said x is 0, and y is 5 upon 3. I'm then going to go for let y equal 0. Remember, let x equal 0, let y equal 0. And you find the other point that cuts through on the axis. So I've got 3y. Okay. And instead of y, I'm going to put in the 0. So I'm putting a 0 there, okay, in the equation. I've then got take away 2x is equal to 5. So 3 times nothing is nothing, so what that leaves me with here is minus 2x is equal to 5. So divide both sides by minus 2. These eliminate, and that leaves me with x is equal to minus 5 upon 2. So that's the, the last point that I can plot then. So that's going to be a minus 5 upon 2, all upon, uh, with, with y equaling 0. Okay, so to plot that, I've cut it out into thirds, this graph. So 5 upon 2 will be 2.5. So I can just move along to wherever 2.5 would be on this grid. So what I'll do is, so there's 1, there's 2, 
taken away, so that's negatives. And there's three, so halfway in between there would be this point that's here. And I'm doing that one in blue here. So that point there is min minus 5 upon 2, 0. So the two points that I would be plotting would be these two here to be able to draw my equation into its straight line form. And that would be that equation complete there. Right, so, so I've shown you um, three methods to use. Uh, for, for drawing the, the equation of a straight line. Sometimes I would just force you down one method if that's what you wanted to do, but it uh, gives you a chance to look at each of the methods, see which method suits you best, and uh, to, to make sure that you can draw a straight line from a given equation. And just watch out for negative signs, making sure that you can solve equations like we've been doing, and um, making sure that you plot your points and uh, draw your line carefully. Okay, so I wish you all the best with uh, your National 5 work, especially around this topic of uh, drawing straight lines. And we'll move on to the next part of this in our next video, where we'll be using the equation y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. And we'll use that. Okay, good luck.